Okay, electric fuel pump is running on the outside of the cab. We have fuel pressure. All we got to do is turn the key on. The battery disconnect on the seat is already on and see that our alternator light is on. Start the machine. Alternator light goes off. It's charging. Fuel tank gauge works. We're currently on the main tank, which is the rear tank. And we have a reserve in front, so we're going to have fuel. We can switch this lever and select which tank we want. Forward and reverse control. Six gears in forward, two gears in reverse. Two wheel drive. Pull it up one time, one in the front, one in the rear. Pull it up another time, all four tires turn on. All the lights and stuff. I haven't really messed with a lot at night. Like I said, I got three of them. Um, but it appears like everything works. I mean, the dash lights come on. The heater blows. You know, here's the heater fan. Yeah, turn signals are here. They work. Brake lights work. So, and it's got a horn. So, everything appears to be, for the most part, pretty much working. I think this wire goes to this toggle switch that activates this windshield wiper. And I took the windshield off to mount this gun mount. So, I didn't hook that up. So, windshield wipers, you're going to need to hook that up. Uh, first aid kit that's fully stocked. My registration is laminated. My tag's forever. So, I have my registration uh, glove locks. The door's pretty nice. That's a nice cabin shot, but uh, like I said, it's been running this whole time. I haven't touched the throttle or done anything. You watched me start it. And then uh, there's second gear. Take it off. No throttle. Second straight up, and you got to knock it across to uh, get out of that shift pattern. It's, it's a protective measure for PTO. So now I'm giving us a guess. Pretty cool mirrors. You can see what's out there because there's a lot out there. Oh, there's a little bit of water. Third gear. steep hill. I've got brakes. Lock all the tires up. All the tires are locked up. We slid to a stop. Brakes work amazing. Probably the best brakes out of the set and I've worked on all of them and this one by far is the best brakes but it's also the newest. It's a 1967 I don't think that the gauge turns, so like it's fixed 32,000 miles, it hasn't been, I mean that's what it is. My um, military one with 18,000 is the same way, and my Yamaha Grizzly I just got the same way. It seems like a lot of odometers uh, break or whatever, but I don't, I don't know how to fucking fix it, so it is what it is, but this, everything appears to be in good working order, temperature gauge works good, oil pressure gauge wide open. And fuel, fuel gauge works and alternator charging light works. There's a bra on top of the um, water cooler, which is pretty cool to keep the heat in. And I also have a cover for this that's original military to keep the heat out as well. Because this, with everything working good, the heater and the top and everything, you could drive this in the wintertime. Yeah, I mean, no problem. And that's a hand throttle and a choke which all, all, it all works, so pretty cool. I figured I'd give you a little driving around video. I'm fixing to run to the store, I'll, I'll get another video. All right, I'm fixing to go to the store. This exhaust I made, it's a four inch exhaust off of a uh, diesel. And uh, put a muffler in there, pack the muffler. It's pretty good. Welded up. Storage box is empty, but it's good condition. Um, I'll throw you in a fuel can for the thing. Uh, new hose between the fuel tanks. So I just assembled these and cleaned them. 
Um, try to nail down exhaust leaks. I think there's still a little exhaust leak up here, welding on it. You know what I mean? Try to make it as nice as I possibly can. Do some under the hood stuff. The first battery box has two brand new Duracell batteries in it. I'm stealing power off there from my fuel pump. I'll take pictures of this stuff instead of going through all the process of video in it. Chain box works good. All right, so here's the hood pop. Pop the hood. I think he had something wrong with this windshield wiper motor. That's why it was down. Here's all your information on that. Here's the intake. I took the um, oil bath out. We don't have bad conditions in Tennessee. I wanted more horsepower. Uh, has an updated uh, ignition system on it. No leaks or anything like that. There's the original mechanical fuel pump. I left it in place in case of an emergency and you wanted to try to get it primed and get fuel pressure. There's my fuel line. I've protected it with a sheathing all the way through here around the engine. And I'm using the original fuel selector switch because of the uh, dual tanks. I think a single tank elevated is a better system. That's what I did on the winch truck. But this is all original. You can make it right back to original easily. You know what I mean? And that's how some people are really particular about it. But uh, synthetic fluids in the differentials and in the axles and in the motor. And this is a very nice Unimog. And it's the one that everybody wants out of all three of my Unimogs. Everybody messaged me about this one. So I'll just single it out and get it out of the way. I rebuilt this uh, troop carrier seat and the sides fold down, all sides of the troop bed fold down. The top's in really good shape and I have the front and the rear of the top as well that's included. And I have a spare tire. It's not a matching spare tire, but it's a spare tire that will bolt on there. So I got you a spare tire and you got your canvas and that's what comes with this thing like you see it. And I can deliver it. I have a trailer. I have a badass truck to pull it. And I've picked every one of these up, so I know how to get them. And replace brake lines that people have chained down axles. You do not chain down axle on these machines. Front and rear. All right, going to the store. Downhill, you can get 70. If you can hold it and nobody pulls out in front of you, I got two trailers coming up here with cows on them. It's a pretty tight road. Okay, this is what you're getting. You get a uh Two new Duracell batteries from 518. Absolutely no problem charging or doing anything like that. And there's our fuel system, which is a Carter 24 volt fuel pump with the emergency shutoff switch. There's our deals of bullets that I welded on the bolt so you can unscrew it by hand. And those are our two battery boxes. This is a chain box. It's empty. You get two canvases, front and rear for this top. You get a spare tire, and you get the original uh, oil bath, which is an air cleaner. There's your tailgate. All these panels fold down. All panels are removable, but it's going to be just like this when you get it. These tires are super expensive, and they're in great condition. I already told you on another video, the exhaust I built, it's a 4-inch stainless. It's tricky to get into. There we go. So many boxes. Military fuel can goes in there. I'm gonna give you one. And there's your dual fuel tanks with the new connector. I did that and drained them and cleaned them. The fuel system is always the issue of these things. So there you go. This is exactly what you're getting.